Dragons, I'm the ruler of the Dragon Kingdom, Dragon Snip, and it's been a while since the last dollar store makeover. Now, last time I did a dollar store makeover, I did three items that I picked from the, um, dollar store. Well, it's obvious. The stingly obvious there. So, I painted, like, a dinosaur, a paint palette, and I believe a strange-looking trash can? <laughs> like, pencil holder that I found at the dollar store to paint on, which was really, really weird. This time, however, I have three new items that I found at the dollar store that I'm going to be painting in this video today for you guys. This item is going to be a... You know what? Let's just get to the video so that way I can show you these items. So let's get going to the art desk. So basically, I have the three items that I found at the dollar store to do a makeover with. And yes, I did all three of them. Even though I'm going to be doing all three of them, let's go ahead and start off with just one out of right now. Bye, have a great time. Check out this pencil case here, guys. This pencil case looks like it's hiding a very dark secret right about now. Guess we'll never find out about that dark secret, right? Hi. I do have to actually remove this tag here real quick. There we go. This is a cute bag, I guess. It doesn't look cute. It looks horrifying. But I need to remove the tail as well. I don't know why it has it, but it really needs to go. don't like it. And yes, this is where the struggle to get the tail off. Just get off. Get off. The tail is gone. need to remove this pin as well. I don't need it anymore. But as I tried to remove the um pin thing off the, uh, the thing that opened this pencil case, it was a big struggle just to get it off, just like the tail itself. Although with the tail, it was pretty easy to get that tail off, just snip, 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 and it's gone. But the pen? The pen. How that's another story. I tried all type of tools just to get the freaking thing off. This one was a nightmare to work with. Finally, I used my wire cutter just to get rid of it. And this was the only thing that worked. Finally, you're gone. Bye bye now. The one like the thing that absolutely needs to be removed is gone, it's now time to get to the creative part. I pulled out a familiar mat to keep my surface safe. Hmm, it would be a real shame if this disappeared halfway through the video. It would be a real shame. I pulled out the water cup and paper tower. All artists have this, I guess. And now time to get to work. I put a layer of white fabric paint on top of the pencil case first. It was so many layers. So many, 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 So many layers of white paint on top of this pencil case. Many, 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 I mean, who's counting? But I want to be clear about it. This is white fabric paint, not acrylic paint. White fabric paint. Okay, we're done with that. So once I finish adding the many layer of white paint onto the coat, I added the blue paint on top of the front of the pencil case, which is funny. It was a light blue, and now it's kind of more of a medium tone type of blue. Hmm, strange. Really strange. As I am, like, you know, layering this amount of blue paint on top of the pencil case, I'm trying to decide what I want to do with this uh, pencil case. I'm trying to decide, like, what I want to add onto this, because at this point, I really didn't know what I wanted to do with this case. I just spend more time on this part than um, when I was adding the white base on top of this because I really didn't know what I wanted to do with this. Now that I have a blue coat on top of the pencil case, it's time for me to blend some more color to this because I still didn't know what I wanted to do on the front of the pencil case. I had it in the way, which is always fun. Guys, I finally came up with something to add to the pencil case and I really wanted to show you guys what it is. Well, if you guys could see it! Dang, my head is in the way once again. I need to move my head so that people can see my artwork. There we go. Yes, fan that paint. Fan the paint to dry it so that we can continue on this hell of a nightmare. And I took it out of frame so that it is so many time trying to get that paint to dry, I guess. I don't know. I just eventually just left that out to dry on its own because I got sick and tired of work, like fanning it, I guess. Also, I needed to make some colors off camera, so do that. Need to add another layer here, and finally we got to the next scene. Hey, we got a different camera angle. So I ended up adding another layer of color that I had picking. I think you already saw me like sketch out what it is. Um, so I'm just gonna say that I mixed this paint here and just added a top. So I added like another layer to it and then just add red and yellow. Um, I don't know if you know what's 
happening. Like, I don't know what's happened. Either I didn't hit the card on my camera or I lost the footage for the scene. So we're just here with a fabric pen in my hand. I just sketch out some of the details that I wanted to put onto the scene. I use a gray color to fill in those said details. Look more like black, but it's a pretty much a mediocre tone of gray just to fill in the details. Now, if you don't know what I'm drawing, or in this case, painting, I'm painting the Morph Ball from the Metroid series. Because at the start of the Dollar Store makeover, I was really into the Metroid series. I just used my dotting tool here. Now I also use my dotting tool to add the yellow shine around the uh, sphere, I guess. We'll be right back after these short messages. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload my videos. Also, don't forget to check out my social media sites like my Instagram page and my Tumblr page. And don't forget to check out my store, which I'm selling stickers and painting. Uh, my Etsy shop. Link is down in the description below. Now I'll return to your regular program. Before moving on to the next item we have in this video, we need to finish the back side of the pencil case. I wish I've already painted the back side with the white. So we don't have to rewash me layering like a million layers of white fabric paint onto this. Also, can't forget about the blue color as well, so let's just go ahead and skip ahead to that part, shall we? There we go. The blue base is complete. Now what the- Hmm, now what to add to this guy? Hmm. Oh, I know! The baby! Since this is already a Metroid themed pencil case, we should add the baby onto this uh, pencil case here. We should add the baby as well. Grabbing out the same fiber pen to, to sketch out the baby Metroid. Now, I do like the sketchy part here, but the rest of the bit didn't turn out the way I wanted it. The morph ball turned out fine for me, the baby sadly didn't. So once the sketching part is completed, it's time to add in the colors. Now, I will state this. I did like this part where I was painting in the fleshy part on the baby Metroid. But after this part, it went downhill like my feeling for college. I think what really killed it was adding the blue on top of the Metroid baby. I wish I worked on it a little bit more before this video ended. Maybe I might redo it later in the future. But we don't have time to fix it right now. We gotta move on. Now that we finished the pencil case, it's time that we move on to the pencil case holder. Remember that strange pencil case that we worked on in the last Dollar Store makeover? Well, in this video, we're working on this strange pencil holder that I found at the Dollar Store, which you could place on your wall. Or in your bathroom, if you have this strange suction cup for the back of the holder like I do. So this is a strange thing that I did here. I added a layer of gesso onto this, like I did with the, um, the another product that we will be taking a look into later in this video and then i painted the exact same color that it was already was hmm that's weird and i never changed this hmm i guess at this time i didn't really know what i wanted to do so paint it pink i guess let's just leave it like this All right, let's move on so now that i have the color down like this just the same pink that it already was I use a white color pencil to sketch up my design onto this one. Unlike the last one, I had to draw with a fabric pen onto the um, pencil case because I couldn't sketch with pencils. On this uh, pencil holder, I drew a dinosaur on this one this time around because I love dinosaurs and I want to draw more dinosaurs in my uh, videos. Now, for this dinosaur, it was going to be a character that I drew in one of my own. Um, like, redraw old artworks from my childhood his name was charlie but um when i showed this artwork to my group from college one of my uh group members mentioned it looked like a lemonade dino so now it's a lemonade dino wait what's going on why did it skip ahead like this not again did it happen again i i don't know maybe i i thought i was recording but i guess something happened with the footage or that my camera didn't hit record Let's, I don't know what to call her. Strawberry. Lemonade. No, Lemonade. Her name is Lemonade. Alright. So, we're done with Lemonade. We are moving on to the next item that I found at the dollar store. This one we're going to be working on. It's just a heart-shaped piece of wood that I found at the dollar store. And I'm just going to add a layer of gesso onto it. But many layers of gesso um, later, we are now going to be adding the green color base onto this. I don't know what I'm going to be using this uh, wood thing for, probably just decoration for, or something like that. I know exactly what I'm going to be using, the pencil holder just to hold pencils like somewhere, I guess. 
Um, the pencil case holder, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. It's not really good for pencil? I mean, I could carry maybe like extra pencils in it for like whenever I go to college and stuff, but... Uh, but for this piece, I don't know. Oh well, I'll figure something out with it. So I add many layer of this green color onto the um, piece. I made sure to get in every single corner of the wood except for the back because I didn't want paint back there. But um, I got lazy and I didn't feel like sanding it down, so I'm not gonna sand it down. We're just gonna make sure the paint uh, like seal up those edges, even though it kind of look horrible. I just really wanted to get the painting, guys. Come on, give me a break here. Now that the painting is done, it's time to grab out the... Did it happen again? I'm really bad at this, guys. I should leave and never come back. Or hide in this corner. Maybe that should be fine. And my head is once again in the way. So, funny story about that. Um... Uh, I recorded this kind of strangely, so by the time we got to the new angle, um, that was when I started shifting my camera around. Okay. So I kind of, uh, recorded the first part, uh, that my camera angle was in a strange position, and then I changed the position to a better view, and, um, so my head is just gonna be in the way for, oh, in and out, but once we change to a different view, it should be good, hopefully. So let's continue. My head is just gonna be in the way, can't we just skip to the good part? Oh hey, a camera angle change, that is great. And my head isn't in the way, great! Now time to finish this guy. I'm just filling him in, and if you can't tell by now, this is my forest kitty. The guardian kitty I did for my Earth Day video. Go watch that if you want, I don't know. Like, link's in the description for you. Just go check it out if you want to. I, I don't know. I don't know. So now I'm just blending in some color with this guy. Dark brown with brown, green with brown, and a few other colors. I even worked on the eyes as well. But I wish I did something different with the eyes. They just seem to have blended in with the background. I wish I'd mix in some new color for green and make the green look very different this time around. But I didn't do that, so let's move on from that. So once I finish painting the rest of the detail around the ears and the horn on this cat, also working on the tail, can't forget about the tail, I grab out my Posca pen and started adding the line art with him, and I think I need to get a new black Posca pen, because this tip is not working out very well. I mean, it's still good, but it's running its course. I did the varnish off ca camera this time, I didn't feel like recording that part at least. That time I didn't feel like recording um, the varnish part, but... I don't know what happened with the other footage. I thought I recorded them. And here they all are! All done and are ready for the final result. Let's get to it then! Here they are! Wait, where did they go? And they are done! So here they are, well, in the after credit because I don't have them with me at this moment. I'm recording this before I finish the item. <laughs> Took me a while to figure out how I wanted these to turn out, so hopefully I don't really know how they're gonna turn out, so hopefully I like them by the time uh, this video is done. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys like this video, go ahead and check out this video right over here. I am just going to pick what random area that I'm gonna point over. This is just a random video here, but this video over here is last week video, and I'll see you dragons next week. Bye dragons! Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror, so foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can save me, and honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving. I like to be my own worst enemy. There's no risk if you don't try it anything, so I'ma just get by in everything. See you in the next life, have to be a better me. I don't think that my head's on straight, gotta flip it and grip it and go and get it next.